Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Take this book, for example. This book contains every bad thing that I have ever done in it. Every page, details, every bad word, every bad thought, every bad thing that I have ever done is contained in this book. Here then is the problem. Here's me, here's my sin. Whoa, that is a heavy load. And here's God. God loves me, but God hates my sin. God does not want to punish me, but God must punish my sin. My sin has caused a separation, a barrier, if you will, between me and God. God wants to have a relationship with me, but there is my sin, and God must punish my sin somehow. It's caused a separation. Oh, I would try to rearrange my life, and what do you know? The sin, sin was still there. I would turn over a new leaf every once in a while. The sin was still there. By my own efforts, I could not do anything to work my way up to God. In fact, it always seemed like I would get further and further away from God. In the person of Christ, God did what I could not do on my own. God sent His one and only Son to the earth. The Bible says that we all like sheep have gone astray, each one of us turning to his own way, and the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. God laid on His Son Jesus my sins. And when Christ got done paying every last sin on the cross, He says, it is finished. Now, after dying on the cross, Christ spent three days in the tomb and he raised on the third day and he went up to heaven to prepare a place for you and me. Jesus made it possible for me to have eternal life in him and now to have a personal relationship with him. Jesus offers this free gift to every person in the world. Does everybody automatically just receive this free gift? This free gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ? Unfortunately, not. But next week, we are going to talk about what it takes to receive or to accept the free gift of eternal life. See you guys.